What's up guys? Welcome back to another Terra Classic video. We got a ton to talk about with the coin, especially massive increases in price is looking pretty good. Now, if you also look at some of the burn alerts, it's really awesome. We have savethemoon.io. These guys are decently big with nearly 5,000 followers on Twitter. They're launching in two days. It's 2% burns and 2% distribution to the holders. It's like this pretty big event. So definitely check it out. People seem to like it. Now, right now, the official Terra Classic devs are still implementing the 1.2% burn rates. It's not here just yet, but when it's here, Binance will most likely be the first exchange to really implement that 1.2% burn rates. That's the reason why Terra Classic recently is so stable. Not only does Binance have nearly 50% of the total token supply, but I feel like they want to take advantage of the leaderless Terra Classic because Duquan left and really try to get the price up. Because Terra Classic, it made them lose $1.6 billion in that massive crash. And they are not happy with Duquan, and they've also been kind of passive aggressive as well, saying how people shouldn't abandon coins and move on to the next coin. And I think Terra Classic, they are kind of under the wing of Binance and the Binance CEO CZ. Now, Binance will most likely implement a 1.2% burn rates, and guess what? Binance is the exchange with the highest amount of crypto trading volume, making them the best ideal candidate. Now, if these guys were like coin market cap, you know, you know, if those guys are doing some small miniature burns or like crypto.com putting burns on their exchanges for you know Terra Classic, it's not as impactful as Binance. If Binance does it, it will trickle down to several other major exchanges. So that's looking pretty good. What do you guys think about this so far? I have a feeling that CZ and Binance are probably increasing positions more than ever before. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. See you later.